Hey, what's up all you readers and YouTubers and such like folk? I am here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Claremont campus of Emory University where I have been working my butt off for a research project which has been awesome! But anyway, I thought since I've been doing a lot of reading this summer that I'd actually post another vlogature and I might actually try and edit this one. Ooh, exciting! So the book that I am going to discuss today is dun, 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 dun. Thomas Harris's Red Dragon. I actually watched the video, the movie for this first, which I usually don't like to do. I usually like to read the books before I read watch the movies, even though it usually ruins it. But I'm stubborn that way. Um, anyway, I watched the movie first. Um, on a fencing trip actually, which was really awesome. The movie's fantastic. The movie has Anthony Hopkins, um, Edward Norton, amazing, wonderful people. Thomas Harris is the guy who created Hannibal Lecter, as in Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter. So Red Dragon is about an FBI agent named Will Graham who has sort of the ability to use his imagination to project himself into the thoughts of serial killers and murderers, which he is not always happy about because that's a creepy ass sort of ability to have. He is the guy who actually caught Hannibal Lecter and was basically eviscerated for it. So he nearly died catching Hannibal Lecter and so the book picks up um, a little bit after that where he has gone into retirement and is living with um, this woman and her son. And he's approached by his old boss, who wants his help trying to catch another serial killer who comes in, who has killed two families so far, comes in, murders the entire family, rapes the wife's body, puts shards of glass in everybody's eyes. Very unpleasant character. So anyway, he's finally convinced to come help on this case. One of the things that makes this book really, really interesting and more than just your average sort of slasher horror type book is that it goes into the character of the serial killer um, really deeply and makes him more than just some like crazed killer. It actually goes a lot into his backstory and the main point of the book, I guess, is that monsters aren't always born, sometimes they're created. So it's a very, very interesting sort of dual play between um, Will Graham and the serial killer, and how Will has to sort of immerse himself in the world of this seriously messed up guy in order to be able to catch him to stop him from hurting more people. As the book goes along, the serial killer actually becomes more and more human, so you actually start like empathizing with him. It's really, really interesting. I legitimately could not put this book down. I read it in probably like two or three days, and it's la 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 la. It's almost 500 pages, well, 450, whatever. But I mean, it's it's a quick read because you can't put it down. It keeps you on the edge of the seat, of your seat, and it keeps you there, and it does not let you go. So if you've seen uh, Silence of the Lambs, and you like Hannibal Lecter, and you like things that really screw with your mind, you should read this book. You should also watch the movie, because it's very good. I actually need to go read more of Thomas Harris's books, because I really, really enjoyed this one. I found it at a used bookstore for, like, a dollar, which was awesome. So I was like, you know what? Yes, yes, I am buying this and I'm reading it. And I'm so glad that I did. And that is my vlogger for the day. Um, I probably won't actually be in Atlanta when I get the time to edit this and put it online. But yeah, I'll be back home in good old Kentucky. Um, as always, you should tell me your thoughts in the comments and you should suggest books for me to read because I always like book suggestions. I, I love books. I read all the time. Anyway, yeah, go read it. It's awesome. If you don't know anything about Thomas Harris, he is the guy who created, um, and you're listed Adolf Hitler, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> doesn't make any, any, any sense. <laughs> anyway, um, Red Dragon 
is about the story of an FBI agent named Will Graham, who has a... Jack, I failed at this. I'm gonna edit this. Editing power's awesome! Ooh. Anyway, um, um, but anyway, eviscerated? That's the right word, right? Yes. Um, and this is going to be fun to edit. Anyway, um, seriously, how many times can I say, um, but anyway, 